Hello everybody joining us on YouTube and welcome to the next episode. You are joining us, we are playing Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Waste DLC. It's Frozen Waste, I'm sure that's the title. You have joined us, we have just turned up, we have to track down a shaman, stop corruption, as per always, and save the world, basically. That's what we do, we're heroes. It's, you know, no, it's no biggie, it's no biggie. We have just given someone back their instrument, which is basically banging on pipes. And uncovered a few little secrets by stopping the water flow coming out of a dam. Of course, whilst doing this, a whole bunch of demonic snapjaws decided they didn't like me, so they died. Um, as I said last time, I didn't want to kill them. They, they picked a fight. I was happy to let them live, but... Turns out no. Turns out they wanted to pick a fight, so that happened. Um, and then, other than that, we are pushing up. We have to go. We have to find the shaman's path. And then the only other quest we have uh, is a secret gathering quest, which is all the way up north. And we have some hunting up there and a bandit camp to the east. East? Yeah, east is on the right of a map. And so that's where we've left off. And we are just, as I said, then going to continue to follow the shaman's path. I'm going to say it's probably uh, lit up by all of those lovely symbols and that bridge. It's usually how it goes. Follow the blue. All right, I lied. Ooh, plunging into icy cold waters. And there's not even a sauna around to help. And there is a flying thing above me somewhere. I definitely just saw its shadow around me. Find the shaman's path. You want me to cross another river? Damn, you people are mean. I can't climb this wall. Uh, go... Of course, yes, here is my shaman's path. Yeah. And so how is everybody on today's stream? How are we doing? How's your holidays been? It is, of course... Well, for me, it's two days after Christmas. For most of y'all, it'll be a day after Christmas. As I live in the future. I'm in New Zealand, so I'm basically slightly ahead of most people in the world. Climbing, 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 climbing. Tell you what, for a very dangerous shaman's path, it's not been that much of a challenge at this point. Campfire, always love a good campfire. Oh, this is where we've got to go, definitely. All the gleaming blue, or the blue gleam, otherwise known as. I'm pretty far up. The shaman's path must be. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Interesting. Realistic marker. Activate the marker. Looks like each marker points to another. Giving directions. Sure. This is heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. I'll go for that. What's this charm for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Uh Okay, I can't find the next one, but sure.
Oh, I guess that actually just means go this way. Get it. It's not in the open, is it? It's in the entrance to this path. Oh, hello. So I guess we just keep going till we find another fork. Uh, not like this. Another marker. Good. Ah, there. <laughs> it's like, what marker? Are you mad? Okay, that way then. This way. This one isn't chiming though. So I don't know. If it's not chiming, does that mean this is the wrong way? Not this way. But then Yes where? it does. I see. Up. Got it. There was a chiming marker further above me, so Oh, here we have it. Stalkers. Okay. Stalkers, we love stalkers. Absolutely joy of people, stalkers. I'm about to go down to this thing anyway, so I feel like I may as well kill them. I don't know, let's have a quick look. Maybe I don't have to kill them. <laughs> then again, maybe I do. Gun now. Better go hit, bugger. Hit when he's down! Woo. Demonic stalker, pain in the ass. Could have killed them from above. <laughs> Just like I thought. Oh look, I have to go this way. Shock and horror. I have to go through the bad guys. Thanks. Oh, and I'm out. Done with the cave. So what's next on this path? Oh, we have another. 
that where you'd like me to go? I said in that way and up or <laughs> oh, let's go round. Let's go round. What is this bridge like? Looks like it needs to fill up with water before I can cross. Okay, then that fills up with water, and then I go up. That'll work. I may as well activate the marker. Why not? Done all the rest so far. Woo! Well, that'll help for when I fall. the bridge. Okay, interesting. What are we doing? Aha! This is what we're doing. Pulling a magic lever. Okay. Aha! Here's gonna be something stupid. Eh. Wasn't as bad as it could have been. Wasn't as glorious as it could have been either. <laughs> Made it! I wonder where this is going to point me to go. Over there! Hmm. Uh, a very simple bridge. I do, however, we'll see a path up there. And the curiosities of... Where does that go? Ah! It, she, just, she just, like, fell off the flipping bridge! I wasn't even moving! <laughs> What's she up to? She just, like, drifted off the edge of the bridge. I got blown off by the wind or something. <laughs> and of course, all we have is a supply crate. And back down we go. Love a good rappel. Absolutely love it. Okay, let's go back up. <laughs> I was a little bit lucky I didn't end up all the way down. Going along the shaman's path. Oh! Don't fall! Don't fall! Do I want to know? Oh, it's one of those demonic, really big and ugly things. Urban wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. Yeah, I'll give you that impression. Oh, for the sake of I've done the rest of them. I wonder where this could tell me to go. Oh my god! <laughs> Up the path you're clearly showing to me? Alright, so let's keep pushing forward. Hey, campfire! Have a good campfire.
Why did you just turn off? You kept recharging yourself. Save. I haven't saved in a very long time, folks. Okay, something big and ugly is definitely about to turn up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh look, big and ugly! Gonna get there. I guess we're doing this, big boy. Nothing uh, to see here. One more, and it should explode. That'll also stop it taking my shield away from me. I don't know how it works, but I know how to stop it. I'm on a cross claw. Run! <laughs> Just run! Oh, it's optional to kill the cross claw. It's definitely gonna happen though, let's be honest. There is nowhere to hide. Weakness is fire. You bugger. See if I can't blow parts of it apart. Yeah, man. I mean, look at it, it just looks ugly. It looks like it is going to full blown eat me. these things. I have a bomb and an arrow. Thank you. I was waiting for that to explode. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Why won't you just die? Right, die. Woo! Scary Have a piece machine. of that. Down. Now back to finding the way up. Which means I've got to climb. 
Ah, wait, look at the wrong one. Which means I do have to climb. To get up there. Big scary monster dead. Let's not have one of those things come back again. Uh, I'm missing something here. There you go. That's what I'm missing. Just a bit. Woo! Dramatic jump. Love a good dramatic jump. Uh, let's go somewhat up. And I can definitely make this, but I feel like a uh, jumpy jump is not quite the way I'm supposed to do it. Take some blue gleam because I'm because I'm entitled to it. A shrine? This is just a satellite dish by the looks of it. <laughs> you mean these old worldly looking stairs? Look at it, it's a broken ass satellite dish. Oh, 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 we've got a whole thing going on up here. Where am I, by the way? Okay, still quite far away from my little secret I have to go and get. Rayo's retreat. Yeah, she might be inside. <laughs> March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but... Every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Oh boy. Oh. I should just go to bed. Man's in, man's in love. Man's in love. I see secret doors that need opening. Locked. Maybe my focus can help. Looks like the door's wired. There's something over here. Stuff going on over here. Got a lot of stuff going on. Around and around we go. Director of Security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Is this gonna work? <laughs> Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? <laughs> okay, we get more turny style puzzles. Okay, avoid the big nasty red one. Got it! I just, yeah, went for the solution. What seems like a solution, really. No, it worked. <laughs> I don't know. Keep turning things till you get the solution. Oh, the door works! I came in that way. What's down here? How am I going to explain to Kenny that Firebreak is doomed without a guiding intelligence advanced enough not only to think, but to feel? Ooh, we have one of those. It was called Gaia. And it may or may not still be around. Another email from 
my sister. I haven't got time to think, let alone reply. Oh, that photo of the girl she sent didn't do much for my conscience. Jenny looks pretty proud of her pilgrim costume. Crap. I've never seen this before. That's a big door. I think I'm going up. This is where I get halfway up and realize I chose should have gone right instead of left. But the game would never be that cruel, right? At what point does snow melt? I'm still covered in the stuff. Oh, here we go. Fresh air ahead. It's a hell of a uh, climb. Ooh, slide through the gap, just like going to home plate. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. I imagine we can. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Jim! Oh dear lord! I so thought I was dead. I hate the jump mechanism on this game. You kind of go for something, you don't go for something. Like, it, it's a little terrifying if I'm perfectly honest. Oh, campfire. Let's go for a quick save. Again, it's been a while. And uh, I scared, killed some big scary thing. Genuinely, the jump mechanic on this, it's... If there's like something to grab hold of, she doesn't kind of do her full jump. She kind of does like a half jump. But yeah, it's, it's terrifying. Like, it's truly terrifying. Um, like, it's... She has to be in here somewhere. I don't know, it's just one of those. Ooh. What do you got to say for yourself? Apparently nothing. Bunker door. Glass door, heavily shielded. Integrity intact. Obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this <laughs> the most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? <laughs> and I think we all know the answer to that one, don't we? I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Uh, don't be crazy. Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. Ooh! I can't help you if you won't speak! Whisper is all I ask. To guide me. What? Why? How? When? How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Light the path. Turn a few more nodes. Oh, oh, we've got like I see a purple thing, and I see some other things, and I see. Oh, this one's more complicated. Get the light back to the source. Nope. Kenny, 
That's an audio. We fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Animal figurine. Oh, we found that's going to be the door I have to get in. So we found an animal figurine. So we have to get. I think all the way around, just avoiding that thing. I'm really not sure. Um, I'm really not sure. I think I have to hit every node. I think avoid the red ones. Uh. It's just going to send me around in circles, so that's not going to do me anything. Because there's no node over there. So, in that case... That can't be done the other way, so let's put this one the other way and start from the other side. Uh, no, once again, that then will take me to the red. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh no, wait, this one can go this way. So let's put it that way. You can then... Go that way. Wrong way. Way. Uh, uh, no, there's only one way that can go, I think. Because there is no path where I'm standing. Turn this all the way around. I'm hoping this is the right path, because if it's not, uh, it's let me go rather far to find out. Um... I'm going to assume that way it's that way, which makes it go to there. Then Yes, yep, makes it go That way I assume to the last one and then back to the beginning. Oh, went the wrong way, but let's keep going. We done? I'm still on the channel. Huzzah! Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Authorize the mission return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is Orea. Transmission terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? <laughs> what I you want the world the world! Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. <laughs> Bergen said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But... 
You and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. <laughs> but I would be breaking an oath, and that I cannot do. Hmm. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She hmm. saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drift, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light, yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. And what did she ask? The Daemon. What do you know about it? <laughs> Out of I spoke curiosity. With the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again until today. Let's see five if I got years. This straight. We heard two voices when you call the spirit. For five years it's been somehow by a mess. the one you call a daemon. Huh. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We There's can't. A big scary monster. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, yeah. our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter, and I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. Okay. What do I have so to it's do? One thing after another. Get the oh, attention to thank you very much for the follow, Nagu. Nagu. I missed grounds. you, or Nagu K. My extreme that. apologies for that. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. I may? That's part of the quest. So, oh, it's a storm slinger. Alright, no need to run around on the furniture. Extraordinary box. Banuk Storm Slinger. And some storm bolts. What do we got? Charge bolts. Consecutive bolts build up a larger charge and deal increased damage. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not interested. Look, the exit opened.
Glitter trial at the hunting grounds. Clear out the bandit camp. Talk to Sekuli. So you're telling me those are... Prove yourself to the Werek. I have, of course, already repaired and overridden the Tornek. For the Werek! And I also do... I have to go up there and grab Secret Shared. Which I believe... There you go. Make that my main. And we'll get running. Uh, although, I have just noticed... We will leave this episode here. If you're joining me on Twitch, we are going to continue for one more. If you're joining me on YouTube, that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much. As always, it is always a pleasure, and I do love having you here. And I hope you will join us again for the next episode. Thank you all very much for joining.